Hey everybody, how's it going? Okay, I said I'd be back to go over this Logitech mouse. I'm going to do it real quick, um, just as a follow-up. I got a chance to test it in Halo. I'm mostly into first-person shooters, so I did Halo, Call of Duty Vanguard, Call of Duty, Battlefield 2042. Each mouse definitely has its own distinctive feel to it, especially the uh, Cooler Master. It's, um, as far as reaction, it's great. Things fast. It's like a seven button mouse. So, um, not as advanced as the Razer or the Logitech, but still, still good. Um, way, way too light for my liking. I, I just couldn't use it for a gaming mouse. The, the Razer, they call it ba um, Basilisk, Basilisk, strange name, whatever, why don't they just come up with easier stuff. Has a dual profile set up. Um, you can set up your keys on the side, like if you have a secondary weapon that you, or a primary weapon that you, you wanna fire off, uh, with a quick burst, boom, right on the side. Anyways, different profiles you can set up. The cool thing about this that the Logitech doesn't have is you can adjust the tense. Well, I shouldn't say that. This has a little wheel on the bottom so you can adjust how easy to scroll, whether you want it clicky or you want it to be smooth. The Logitech, on the other hand, it has a button on the top, I found out, that you can press that frees the wheel up. Um, I couldn't use it because it, it, it's so sensitive that just, just touching it just starts flipping through stuff. So I st stay with the clicky. Um, it's got a good feel to it. It kind of has a shape like the Razer. All three of them have very good reaction time. Low latency. I didn't find every, any difference in the latency when I tested it, but I did find it does have a different feel to it, but once you get used to it, it it's fine. I had to add a little bit of weight to it myself. Um, it has the thumb rest on it, again, just like the, the Razer. And um, yeah, it's, it's a nice mouse. It goes from 800, to 1600, from 1600 to 32, from 32 to 64. 64 is really like insane. Um, even 32 is a lot. I found that playing in a, a lower DPI in a first person shooter allowed me to take aim better. When it's too high, I was flying right by people. So yeah, mm -hmm. but um. I like it. I'm going to definitely give it a thumbs up. It's a nice mouse. I'm glad I got it. And it's something I'm really going to enjoy using. I can already tell. Again, the, the, my main focus was is I, I have to have a mouse that just feels right in my hand, like anybody else, if you're into gaming. And I was very company, co company. I was very comfortable with the uh, Razer. That's why I chose this design, and I found that it works fine for me. So, on that note, I'm going to cut it short. I'm coming back to do another quick unboxing video because I am doing an Intel build. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. I just started getting some of the stuff in for it. So, I'll see you in a few minutes. Thumbs up. Don't forget to give me a like. It helps the channel. It helps keep me going. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. That's what I'm here for. Just hit that little subscribe button. Don't cost you nothing.